So I'm here at Kada's booth and this is one of the most interesting devices that you probably have ever seen. This is not a PC. Well, it kind of is. It's not a laptop. Well, it kind of is. And it's not a tablet, but it kind of is very, very portable at the same time. Let me tell you what is Kada's mind and some of the other products and how this works. <laughs> This video has been brought to you by Asus ProArt PZ13, the ultra portable AI laptop for creators with military grade durability, professional OLED display. Oh, and did I mention that the keyboard and the screen also detach for ultimate portability and much more. Go check out our whole playlist and the full overview in the video description below. Thanks Asus ProArt for sponsoring this part of the video. So in essence, what this over here is, is that is the brains of your computer but this is not the usual brains of the computer because this you can carry anywhere. I mean, you can literally put this in your pocket and it is very, very powerful. Now, let's start looking at the actual overview of the device. What we have here is on both of the sides, you have little fans for the cooling. Then on the back, we have the IO, which is very powerful as well. Depending on the model, it slightly differs because we have first generation and the second generation of this device. On the back, we have two USB-C ports that are Thunderbolt 4, up to Thunderbolt 4 and USB four ports then we have HDMI port and then two USB type A ports which are 10 gigabits in speed now this in its own is very very powerful because also when you look at underneath the device there is a little latch and underneath it you have an expansion M.2 SSD slot and you can upgrade it this is the 2230 model so one of the smaller ones it's still somewhat upgradable now inside this device that's when things get very interesting there we have Intel Core Ultra 155H so that's the core ultra 7 and you can get this up to 64 gigabytes of ram or the core ultra 5 125h with 16 gigabytes of ram now as a creator i'm super excited about the 64 gigabytes of ram because you know obviously we need more ram but when you have this guy what you can do is actually put this on a dock and you can see this already on a dock set up in here now the dock is very interesting because it's not just giving you uh, power for your device to last forever. It also has very powerful added IO. So there's some speakers inside. You've got a volume knob on the right side, which also has a mute button. And then on the left side, we have a fingerprint reader that you can sign into Windows Hello. On the back, we have a USB-C port, which is for charging only, two USB type A ports, which are five gigabits in speed, then two HDMI ports and a 2.5 gigabit LAN. Now this expands your PC IO even further and it can support up to four displays with just the dock. In a minute, I'm gonna show you how it can support six displays, which is absolutely crazy. So what we have here is the Carter's Mine actually in action. And this is the one with the Core Ultra 7 155H CPU. By the way, the dock also has USB type A port in the front then another headphone mic combo jank, and then SD card reader up to 200 megabytes per second. Now, as you can see, our video is playing, and what I'll do now is absolutely yank it from the power source. Now, usually this is very, very bad for it, but now what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna move over here onto this PC. It's still in my hand. As you can see, it's on. There's a little power plug that's plugged into here. What we're gonna do is plug it into this dock in here. So I'll just pop it into there and I'll go get my light. And as you can see, I've just continued looking and watching this video over here. So all of my work is actually saved, whether I just pull it off or not. Now, the interesting thing is, what I just plug it into is the Carter's graphics, or Carter's mind graphics, which basically means it's, it's a dock but it's not just the dock. Inside there, we have an RTX 4060 Ti, and that 4060 Ti can come in two configurations. We have the 16 gigabyte VRAM model, which I'm very happy with. As a creator, you want more VRAM. That is super, super powerful. And then you have the eight gigabyte of RAM version. Also, we do have SD card slot in the front, USB-C, that's Thunderbolt, and USB 4 compatible. Then a headphone jack, and then on the side, we have the fingerprint reader and volume up and down. Now, on the back of the device, we actually have a lot more ports now. The device has a, its own power brick, obviously, where it powers this. Then we have three more display output ports, which we have the display port and then two HDMI ports, which altogether you can have six 
displays shown in here, which is absolutely insane. You still have your 2.5 gigabit LAN and then three USB type A ports, which just expands your you know, connectivity and IO even further. Why this is so cool is as a creator, for example, let's say you don't want to have two computers or two devices. What you can do is have this with you at home when you're just light, you have a card as mind. A dock where you don't need the dedicated GPU and you just do some of your emails or something like that then you go to another PC or another you know work computer whatever and then you have this graphics that accelerates your video editing photo editing um, performance and I'm so glad to see we have 64 gigabytes of RAM and up to 16 gigabytes of VRAM which is absolutely amazing now they have some other things actually coming as well so if you look behind me on that screen over there there is actually a tablet coming as well which i'm super excited to check out what that tablet is going to be like what's it going to be inside i'm hoping that i can get a sample unit to actually test this out because i'd love to see some benchmarks it uses vapor chamber in a small chassis like that now if you do this if you want to remove it there's a little button in the back you press that and then it says do you want to lock or unlock the graphics so then it basically dis disables the main gpu from there once it goes there once the blicky has stopped i believe you can just take it off or maybe you can take it off now and then there we go now inside we have a vapor chamber and the cooling for this which means that I haven't seen a lot of mini PCs that small with vapor chamber inside. I want to see if this can actually call the Ultra 7 155H because that could be very, very interesting, tiny little power device that you can put in your pocket. In terms of mini PCs, it's very hard to beat this. Okay, you might be wondering how is this connectivity possible? And it is possible because of this special proprietary connector that Cardas has done. Now, usually I don't really like proprietary connections, but it uses kind of like a PCIe uh, configuration, but a lot of IO gets transferred with it as well as, well as power and so on. So this connector in terms of bandwidth is PCIe Gen 5 X8 bandwidth, which means you get insane connectivity with this. That is the same as PCIe Gen 4 X16 that you can see on an RTX 4090, for example. But we all know that we don't use all of this bandwidth. But now you have all of this bandwidth and even the future devices, you can slot into there. PCIe Gen 5 X8 transfers all of the graphics power across you know the bandwidth you have plenty of that and all of the io everything across it's genius now it might be also important to mention that they do have a lunar lake device as well but that is only available for developers i wish they had that one for consumers as well so we could get that one because the performance per watt on the lunar lake is insane they said it's always going to be more expensive with lunar lake and I don't think you can get 64 gigabytes of RAM as Lunar Lake. Maybe that's why you also have the 14th gen in here. But it's very, very interesting. There you go. There it is.